Hi Hawthorne class, um, I've made this video for you today as a bit of a celebration to look back at the past year that we've had together and despite it being cut short um, I still had such an enjoyable year teaching you and I think it's really important that we take a little trip down memory lane together to think about all of the wonderful things that we've done. So where do I begin with our learning? Um, in September we started Mischievians, which was the first uh, text that we used in English. And we managed to come up with so many amazing creatures that could have been in the Mischievians book. Um, we created our own class encyclopedia, and then we even managed to do our class assembly based on Mischievians. So I enjoyed it so much. I, I think all of you did as well. And um, we managed to get some really incredible pieces of work from it. Uh, we also had Viking Boy. This has definitely got to be one of my favourite books that I've ever read with a class. Um, there were so many cliffhangers, it was so exciting, there were plot twists, and again, the writing that was produced as a result of reading Viking Boy and using it as a stimulus um, was just fantastic. So absolutely loved doing Viking Boy with you. Uh, we also then did Lima's Red Hot Chilies, so we explored um, different things that we've been warned against doing that we've still possibly done and the repercussions of those decisions and we managed to produce some really funny stories um, by using Lima's Red Hot Chilies as an idea and we managed to start How to Train Your Dragon um, in the spring term. It's a shame that we didn't get to spend longer on this topic, but um, I think we all enjoyed at the start of it where we went out into the grounds of the school. We were looking for clues to see if any dragons had been around. Um, we found the dragon egg, there were dragon scales and feathers, um, and that was a really, really fun start to a new topic. So it's a shame that we didn't get to finish that, but we had a really, really good start. As a class uh, this year, you have all done incredibly well with maths and I loved teaching maths to you all. It was really nice when um, children would get onto the extension, onto the challenges, and then I could see you working together, getting excited about um, trying to solve the possibly unsolvable. And um, there was just such a good attitude as a whole for each and every one of you um, to persevere and to try your hardest. Um, you learnt quite a few new things as well. I was so impressed when we did fraction decimal percentage equivalents because um, for some of you it was the first time that you'd tried it and you all did so incredibly well. You worked together as a team, as a class, as a unit and um, the progress was just fantastic to see. So I'm so, so proud of all of you and I've told all of the Year 6 team how brilliant you are at maths and I think they're getting very excited uh, to be able to get stuck in and to get started in the new academic year with lots of fun challenges for you. In IPC and science, we started the year with our topic of rivers and you were either in the classroom with me or you were doing forest school with Mr Levitt and I know that he managed to link forest school to rivers really fantastically. And one of my favourite lessons was when we recreated the upper course, middle course and lower course of a river and we drew it out on a huge, huge roll of paper um, across the whole classroom. And that was just so much fun. It gave you the opportunity to be creative. And when it was finished, it looked just fantastic. And then we also uh, revised the water cycle. I know that you touch upon this in year four and um, that was good to go over that again in year five to consolidate your knowledge. After that, we had settlements, and that was where we looked at homes from the past and compared them to our homes today. Uh, we looked at land use in Woking, especially around Horsell. And then we had our trip to the Wildon Downland Museum. And I know it was a little bit chilly because it was in November, but I think loads of you had fun looking at the houses, looking at how they've changed. We were able to actually go inside them, go upstairs, see the different rooms. And also I know lots of you enjoyed um, seeing the Shire horses as well. And during that time, we had a science topic of light. And we looked at the eye, how it works, and we looked at how light travels, and also investigated reflections. So that was all really exciting as well. And then after settlements, we started fairgrounds. Now this was meant to be over the whole spring term, but we managed to get a good start at the beginning. We did lots of science experiments. We explored um, gravity, air resistance, water resistance, 
friction and we managed to take part in lots of scientific experiments which was also really good. So I hope that you enjoyed what we managed to start with our topic of fairgrounds. I know it's a shame that we didn't manage to go to Legoland, I'm really sad that we weren't able to go um, but you have got so many fun trips to look forward to in year six. Also in the spring term, um, some of us went on the residential trip to PGL. So you either stayed at school with Miss Roast and did lots of exciting activities with her, or you came to PGL. And um, despite the rain, I think that we managed to have such a wonderful time. It's lovely for the teachers to see the children on these trips because quite often um, you see a different side to the children. And it's just really nice to enjoy those activities together. Um, some of the activities we had, the 3G swing, Jacob's ladder, we did rock climbing and in the evening on our first night we did wacky races and uh, we had a disco as well. So loads of exciting things and if I remember rightly it was uh, actually boys in Hawthorne class. Uh, some of them had the tidiest room out of all of the rooms on the trip and some of the boys had the messiest room out of all of the rooms on the trip. Um, but despite messy rooms, we had such a fantastic time, so many fond memories. And thankfully, we've got loads of pictures from that trip saved in our system so that in year six, um, you'll definitely be able to see some of them again. So I have a few top tips for you as you go into year six. Um, firstly, try to enjoy yourself. You're finally the oldest in the school. It's now your turn to be those positive role models for the children in the younger year groups. And bonus is that you get to sit on the benches in assembly. So I'm sure you're all very excited about that. Um, every minute should count. So the harder you work at the start of the year, the easier you will find it towards the end of the year. And try to remember that your teacher always has your best interests at heart. Listen to them, trust them. They're there to guide you, they're there to help you. And I promise that they want you to succeed just as much as you want to. And I have every faith that every single one of you will do absolutely brilliantly. So as the guidance stands in September, I'm not gonna be able to sing anymore in the class with the children. So I'm really gonna miss doing that with you lot all of the time. And we had so many silly songs together. We had the Kumala song, we had one, two, three, four, five. And then we had our octave song where we went one, one, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, four, two, one. That one was always really fun to do, um, to wake up the brains at the beginning of maths or just before playtime. Um, so I really will look back at doing all of those silly songs with you um, with fondness. And I hope that you enjoyed them. Some of you were more enthusiastic than others, um, but there really are some fantastic voices um, that I've heard throughout the year and I really hope that in the future you are able to utilise them. So just before I go I just wanted to say one final huge thank you to each and every one of you for making this year so memorable, so much fun. Your year six teachers are so lucky to have you and I think that each and every one of you is just going to do fantastically next year. So thank you Jury, thank you Rio, Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Elisa. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you, Kasim. Thank you, Irene. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you, Yasmin. Thank you, Arwen. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Khalil. Thank you, Sawara. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Rayon. Thank you, Gabriella. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Elisa. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you, Rocco. Thank you, Archie. Thank you, Hipsa. Thank you, Razvan. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you, Dolmi. Thank you, Lucas. And thank you, Mohammed Hassan. I can't wait to see you all on the playground next year. Pop your head into my classroom, say hello, and I really look forward to hearing all about how you're getting on in year six. I'll see you all in September. Bye.